Hello, my name is Mike Johnson. I'm taking you on an inside and outside video tour of this 2016 Forest River Georgetown 364. This is a bunk bed motorhome with three slide outs. It has a lot of redundancy on this motorhome. So I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna take a little while to explain the outside then we're gonna go inside, then we're gonna go underneath and on the roof. Show you all about this motorhome. So first thing to know is this is three slide outs. Three big slide outs, the main living room slide out, the bedroom slide out, and the bunk and wardrobe cabinet slide out. So it opens up real nice and big inside. It's got roof access ladder, a V5 towing package with a trailer hitch connector very clean it's got side view cameras and rear view cameras it's got two water heaters so as we go around the outside you'll notice this is the rear bathroom water heater because this has two bathrooms with two showers and two toilets so that's the rear bathroom water heater and the front bathroom water heater now actually both water heaters will work together or so you only have to turn one on or you can turn both on I recommend turn both on as an out, uh, it has two inside coach heaters. So if you go, go somewhere in the winter time, it stays nice and warm. Outside entertainment system. And you have a outside television. And outside stereo with waterproof speakers. Now this is the model 364. Up on the main awning, there's an LED light. It's got the frameless windows and you'll notice these two windows in the right rear slide out. These are your bunk bed windows and again these are frameless windows so they have a very clean look. And because this is 2016 the graphics look excellent. And this also has 22.5 inch tires with aluminum wheels, full aluminum wheels, not the little metal wheel simulators. It's full aluminum rims got large cargo capacity these big cargo compartments this one right here is full pass-through all the way to the other side so when I say pull fat pull full pass-through that means it goes eight foot deep all the way across So full pass-through storage and then the awnings have these uh, slide out topper awning fabrics that cover the slide awnings. Let's take a peek up on the roof. there. Up on the roof you have dual air conditioners. And then you have um, weatherproof vent covers. And the cargo compartments are side hinged, which means if you forget to close one and you start driving, they'll just blow close from the force of the wind. They don't pose a hazardous to pedestrians or, or motorcyclists driving by. They got the easy latch system. Most of them that you would use on a regular basis have the e easy latch system very easy to close and up on the front you have these side view cameras side view camera so when you activate your turn signals this side view camera illuminates the view of the left side or the right side depending on which turn signal is activated got front fog lights the high, high precision um, headlights so it has excellent nighttime visibility a one-piece front windshield that means there's no center bar in the middle of the windshield to block your view of the beautiful places that you're going to be going in this and these big 22 inch 22.5 inch aluminum rims on these big tires the bigger tires are about 37 inch tall they give the rv the ability to have a better turning radius so the wheels turn farther because of the to make u-turns uh, a little bit tighter and 
It has a glossy mirror finish exterior all the way up mirror finish outside and then you have these panorama bay view windows in your slide out so when you pull up next to a beautiful lake or river or ocean you can sit inside open your windows and have panoramic views of prime real estate we're running the generator it has an Onan 5500 generator it's nice and quiet vibration stabilized it's a 50 amp coach and there's two black tanks and two gray tanks so this is a forward uh, sewer dump station and this is a rear sewer dump station so when you go you can dump from separate restrooms so if you that's so when you don't when you're going up a hill or down a hill the dual restroom system doesn't slosh back and forth so there's no sloshing nice thick tires real smooth ride this motorhome actually drives really nice I actually drove this from Florida to California and it ran really well and again up on the back you have your rear backup camera again the rear has mirror finish there's body paint uh, they call it a partial body paint And then right now we're picking up digital over-the-air television broadcasts on the outside entertainment system. Now I'm going to go inside in a minute. Before I go inside, I'm going to show you a few more things. This has a quick connect for a barbecue. So if you want an outside barbecue hooked up, you've got the quick connect right there. You just hook up your barbecue and then you set your grill out here. You have deep compartments so you can put an 8-foot folding table out here and set up a little picnic under your awning now the awning is electric let's demonstrate that real quick so when you get to the campground older motorhomes you had a power lever called a manual labor but this one you just hit the button inside the driver door here and you just when it's time to go home you wind the awning right up under electric power and when you're at the campground and you're ready to you want some shade you set this sucker it's that easy just at the press of a button right here by the door easy access I like it open nice and shady it's a big awning it's as big as it can be considering you have a very large slide out on the right side those slide topper awnings on top of the slide outs, those are to keep the sun, wind, dust, rain, all those things from blowing water or sometimes you go in a nice campground and there's a tree overhead and the little squirrels like to drop acorns on top. And so you don't have to get up there and clean off the top of the slide out, they have the slide topper awnings. Let's take a look at the tread depth. Nice thick wheels nice thick tire tread very bright and shiny aluminum wheels so let's go take a look inside the Georgetown 364 I'm gonna notice that quite a few things about this that I'm gonna point out for you in the video so bear with me this is a triple slide motorhome, so it and and they're big slides. They're not little wimpy slides. Some motorhomes, the slides only move like 16 inches out. But these are big slide outs. This coach has all LED lighting. You've got bunk beds, real nice, big, wide bunk beds. There are five TVs or six. We'll count them. You have a king size bed. This is not a queen bed. This is a full um, king size bed. It's kind of hard to find motorhomes that will fit a king size bed in there. And then we can squeeze around the sides. So it's what they call a walk around king. It has a privacy door which we can detach 
from the wall and slide it closed to have privacy in the bedroom and then with that door out of the way you can go around here it's all LED lighting little light switches and then day and night shades so that's the day position and then that's the night position you got little uh, drink stands right here where you can put your drinks at, or your reading glasses or whatever at night set them right there you've got power outlets beside the king bed so you can plug in your gadgets have them charging at night your main breaker panel for all your circuit breakers is easily accessed from the overhead of the bed large wardrobe cabinet with these full extending ruler drawers that slide all the way out nice big wardrobe cabinet because it's a triple slide you have all this cabinetry in here for all your storage and you have a rear ba bathroom and a front bathroom this is a two bathroom motorhome I have my little vacuum in here if you need a vacuum with it let me know so you have a the master toilet and the master shower right here and we're on water we're not on hookups right now we're running on generator you got your shower on you got little places to set your soap little soap dishes all around built into the shower glass shower enclosure with a lock so it doesn't move around over here on this side you have a washer and dryer cabinet and we opened it up and you can put your washer and dryer this is where the dryer vent goes you cut a hole right there and then you if you want a washer and dryer it just fits right in this compartment your hot and cold water lines are right here easily accessed and your drain line is right there for a washer and dryer you've got your master bedroom water heater and water pump control there's two water pumps in this coach so if you're sitting in here you, you forgot to turn on water pump no problem it's right here turn it on you got roof lights LED lighting roof vent with weatherproof vent so you leave this open you don't have to worry about water or something coming in because there's a weatherproof vent cover over it it's got a little fan right here vanity lights your linen storage and if you don't have a washer and dryer which it doesn't right now you put your linen right there and then you have all these various drawers to put all your stuff in nice clean cabinetry moving on so we've seen the rear bathroom the master bath now let's look at the front bath it's a nice cozy restroom it's got a wall switch right here to turn the lights on you got a nice sink right here hot and cold running water remember this motorhome has two water pumps so when two people are taking the shower at the same time you'll be okay so your shower right here you have uh, I put brand new shower heads in it it's a fancy shower with a seat so if grandpa's along wants to sit down or the little kids want to sit down you want to clean your feet or whatever walking through the mud got a skylight overhead it's also got a weatherproof roof vent so you can leave it open all the time and not have to worry about water or something coming through a glass shower enclosure let's go up and look at the control panel here you got your water heater control for the front your arctic pack for winter time to keep your tanks warm you got your three slide out controls right here your level test check all your levels your front and rear air conditioning controls the rears over there fronts over here we're running both on generator right now for your TVs you have a signal meter and an aiming antenna so you can tune in the strongest signal 
Now let's go take a look at the driver's seat. Now, these seats swivel around. The material is in perfect condition. It has a center table, so you can put stuff on here. When you turn the seats around, they turn 360 swivel. So when you turn the seats around and you want to enjoy your guests, you can. Now I'm going to point out that we're driving. Imagine we're driving. We're not. We're parked, but imagine we're driving. So this has a full windshield sunshade, which is perfect for when you're driving head on into the sunset because I can lower this down now it'll only go so far when you're moving with the key on but I can set it into a comfortable driving position so that when I start the engine which I'll do now I can drive off into the sunset and I have a giant sunshade for also on my corner windows I can put these roller shades up or I can pull them down and I can see perfectly well out my window I've got my big power aiming mirrors with white convex on both sides I've got my triple uh, side view and backup camera so there's left side and right side and we can't put it in rear view or can we because let me see if I can hit reverse oh no that's reverse we can't show you the rear view right now because I have it on jacks. If I put it in rear the jacks may go up. No, it did it. Okay, that's your rear view camera. So, rear, left, right. Triple cameras with a clear, crystal clear color vision. Now this motorhome, currently the odometer shows 15,908 miles. It shows distance to empty. I've got nice little menus that I can toggle through here. Ice cold dash AC. So let me see. Engine hours are 340.6. Trip meter. Outside temperatures 95 Fahrenheit. And then I can do a, uh, a system check and stuff like that. I've got all my controls right here. Let me turn down the dash air so we don't get too much wind noise. So let's see, we've got our leveling jacks right here, full auto or manual. And yes, you, there's a lot of times where you might want manual leveling. Let's say you find a real nice turnout, but it's kind of, the low is kind of, the rear is kind of low and the left is kind of low. We'll just level it left to right. Don't level it front to rear. And then you can put the slides out into your beautiful scenic turnout. You got a cup holder right here. You got a map pocket on the side. You got more cup holders right here. Two sets of keys. Your dash radio is separate from your navigation. So, I mean, separate from your uh, backup camera. So you don't have to worry about your, your uh, backup camera's dedicated screen, which is really nice. You've got dash fans up on the dash, which I'm hiding behind the sunshade. There they are. They're hiding up there. And the dash fan switch is right here. We can turn those suckers on. The radio between house or or engine power. We've got heated mirrors. Power aim. We've got a map light right here. LED map light on the overhead. For the passenger seat, they just hit it right here. And for the driver's seat, I've got it right here. So both driver and passenger have a little map light. Turn off those dash fans. Engine, I'm sorry, generator hours is 1,294 hours on the generator. It's got a very nice Sony dash radio. It's not, not a cheap radio. It's a real nice Sony dash radio with Bluetooth. So you can stream your music from your phone to the radio. So you also have a tilt steering wheel. I'm going to turn off the engines. You got fog lights. I'm going to put the sunshade all the way down so it's not glaring sun in here for my video will film better. When you store this motorhome and you're not using it, you close this sunshade to protect your your fabrics to keep them from fading or or having problems in the sun. Very important. All motorhomes. 
I don't care if you're going and buying a brand spanking new motorhome. You need to close off and protect your interior. There's a big windows and they let a lot of light in, so you need to close these when the motorhome is not being in, not in use. So, uh, that'll save you later. Okay, so the front is closed off. I'm gonna turn on the other LED light. It's all LED lighting so you can see really well and you'll notice there's multiple TVs. So now it's time to count TVs. One, two, three, four, five, and the sixth TV is outside. So there's six TVs. Now this is a full residential refrigerator and it comes with the straps to secure the doors but I drove this thing from Florida and I found out that I don't even need to engage the straps these doors stay closed and the refrigerator stays secure when you're driving it did very good now if you fill it full of food that may be a different story but I didn't have problems now it has a built-in uh, residential ice maker and uh, there is a water system but if you're going to use the water from the refrigerator you need to make sure you sanitize the system um, which is easy to do but make sure you do that before you drink the water from an RV any RV not just this RV over here we have the dinette this is the dream dinette so there's just a little hand underneath you lift the cushions up you push the table down and it fits in the little notches right here it turns into a sleep position works really well you've got a nice light over the table you've got storage overhead and all LED lighting you got little LED reading lights these you just touch them and they're on nice and bright fancy with day and night shades nice uh, upholstery colors and then you've got little leg wrists that you can pop out so when you're cruising down the road your passengers can be nice and comfortable both sides they work really well or you can put them away let's see here. very easy to put away multiple seat belted positions now, if you notice the TVs are on, I'm getting over the air broadcast right now from the TV antenna. Digital television stations coming in. I'm in Southern California and I'm picking up about 150 channels. You know, if you're, if you're out RVing and you wanna catch the game, you can catch two games at once because you have two TVs up here so you can put the basketball game on here and the football game over here and you can watch both scores at the same time so or your kids can watch one TV and you can watch the other one you know it's watch the stock market whatever you want to keep your eye on it has an additional stereo entertainment system up here uh, an automotive unit that feeds all the speakers uh, with a DVD player in it so that works really well uh, we've been using it works real nice and uh, it, this has Bluetooth connectivity so you can connect your phone to it or you can plug it right in there going back to the kitchen we have Corian countertops genuine Corian countertops with these nice thick sink covers stainless steel double sink nice pull down premium uh, kitchen faucet here you got Corian covers for your cooktop and then the place to store them behind so you can put them away in the back. So LP gas cooktops and an LP gas oven. Nice and clean. Up here you have a convection microwave oven. So I'm going to talk about the ovens for a minute here. This is a big deal for a lot of people. You can bake like a toaster in, uh, in the convection oven. You can cook pizzas and bake cakes in here. 
because it heats with convection or it heats as a regular conventional microwave. A lot of people will just use it as a microwave. But when you go some campground which does not have hookups, if you choose to dry camp somewhere, like park in the middle of the desert so you can ride ATVs or something like that, and there's nothing to plug in, if you want to use the microwave, you need to run the generator. But if you don't want to run the generator, because some campgrounds have quiet time, you can't run the generator after 10 p.m. And if they don't have hookups and you can't run the generator, you have your gas oven right here so you can bake. For some families, that's a really big deal. My family, we never use the gas oven. We always use the microwave. We always run the generator. But some people, it's a must to have that gas oven. But you have the best of both worlds. You have the gas oven, you have the convection mo mo microwave, you can do both at the same time. So these are triple slide outs. The, this hide a bed sofa, this is a whole bed. I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna turn this into a bed. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. But let's talk about the bunk beds. Bunk bed is a really big deal because this is a dedicated sleep position, which means you don't have to make or break down the front seats to sleep. If you have two kids, they can sleep here and you don't have to mess with any of the rest of it. And if you have one more, maybe they just throw a couple of blankets down. You don't have to go all out and it makes it a lot quicker when you're ready to sleep, especially if you're not gonna stay long in one location. It has actual storage underneath here. Pulls all the way out. A lot of bunk beds don't give you any storage, but this one has really nice storage. And it even has a wooden ladder for your little ones to help them climb up to the top bunk or the big ones. And these TVs in the bunk beds have DVD players built into them and digital tuners so they're getting over the air broadcast so the kids can watch whatever they want. DVD, you could plug in a video game console, there's all kinds of inputs so they can hook up their video games. Um, it's real nice. Let's change it to a different channel. So we got different channels coming in. You got the tuner right here. You got the remotes for every single TV are all present. You got a little place to put your uh, little pocket to put your stuff in. A little window to have privacy and then you can open the window. These are these frameless windows so you just turn a knob to open and ventilate the window. And it's all nice and clean in here. And you've got that reading light. You just push it off. Push it on. Super simple. And it's LED so there's no heat. Or very minimal heat. Not like those older incandescents. Air conditioning vent right here blowing on the bunk beds. Or you can close it. And because it's a triple slide, there's a lot of room. A lot of floor space compared with other RVs. It's double slides just don't have as much room inside. Two bathrooms, king size bed, bunk beds, six TVs, center console. So let's start converting things around. So let's, re let's start by bringing in the slides and show you how much room it has. Bedrooms and fronts at the same time. The nice thing, you have two slides on one side of the motorhome. So if you pull next to a curb, you can open both slides. And sometimes you can't do that at the, um, almost there. So we have still room to walk all the way forward. Room to walk all the way backward. But with the bedroom slide in, you cannot get in the rear restroom. Not with the door on it, you cannot get through. So if we bring in the other slide, rolls right in. I still have plenty of room I can get into the front restroom not the rear 
Open the door. Go right in here. You can do your business. You can do you can get in here while it's driving down the road. You use the restroom. You don't have to pull over and stop unless of course you're the driver. Open the slides back up. Now these are really deep slides so it takes a few minutes to move them all the way out. You got the nice bay view windows. And then the bunk bed slide. These also have this nice artwork. This is factory. The artwork so it makes it look nice and fancy in here. Now let's make the beds into a sleeping configuration. So we're one advantage of this motorhome is these are hinged. Just lift them up. Lift it up. Super simple. Flip the lever. Push it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. I'm doing this one-handed. And then you just push these cushions down, which I I can't do one-handed, but you push the cushion down, it squishes together and makes into a bed. Hide a bed sofa, I can do one-handed. Now you have a little an, a, a queen bed up front here for your guests. So you can sleep two adults on the rear king. Two more in the bunk beds. Two more here. That's you're now at six. And because it's a king bed, you could let a little kid sleep in the bed if you wanted. You can sleep seven. And there's enough room on the floor here. You can buy one of those in flex and Intex inflatable mattresses to put it right here. You can sleep eight people. No problem in here This does not have the front bed but those things are You know, they're okay, but They're more work It's nice though if you can bring someone but you have the front TV instead That particular TV station is not coming in good So we can change it to a different channel. I got something else. Put the bed away. Very simple. I'm doing this one handed. It's very easy. And then you just put the cushions back, it's back to normal. So the front seats swivel around 360 degrees. The driver's seat is power. So you've got electric control hiding under here. It's filled down and electrically operated. Lower it down, raise it up. Power back. It makes it easy to drive because you can just adjust the seat for your comfort. The seat fabrics are in like brand new condition you have all these shades to protect your upholstery which is very important if you have front windows always have them covered when your RV stored or you're going to regret it so this swivels around you can lock it into the front position or swivel it for the entry door you can sit here you have the center table which is a new thing here you got some movies we can put on and watch and sit here and watch TV you can watch that TV and watch this TV over here it's a very nice setup
I have the beds out so you can see um, when you're ready to tuck in, go night night, drop the bed down, put the sheets and blankets over, ready to put it away, just put it away. So before we go outside, we're going to talk about the RV refrigerator freezer. This is a full size residential refrigerator, like a 20 cubic foot or approximately with an ice maker. Okay, this is not an absorption refrigerator. This is a residential style. It has a compressor. So if you throw a bunch of warm food in here and turn it on, it go gets cold much faster than a traditional absorption refrigerator because it runs on 110 volt power. Now in order for the refrigerator to run, you need to have either the generator running or this coach comes with an inverter. So the inverter is right down here. You can turn the inverter off or on. Now if you're plugged in at the campground, you don't need this on. If you're running the generator, you don't need this on. But if you're not running the generator and you're not plugged in at the campground, you just turn this button on and that turns on your refrigerator and you're good to go. So with the inverter on, it's drawing battery power out of your four house batteries. So this coach has five batteries, one for the engine and four for the house. Now most motorhomes only have one or two house batteries, but this one has four. So you can dry camp for an extended period of time and you have these four batteries to keep you charged up. This is your electrical room right here. It's got LED lighting so you can come and check things at night. And all your circuit breakers in the back and a fuse control panel and so forth. You're all good to go. You have all these four batteries to keep you running off grid. It's very nice. Let's go on to the underside. So let's go look at the chassis of this Forest River Georgetown triple slide motorhome. Start over here. You see the uh, bedroom slide is open. You have your heavy duty towing package right here. Seven pin connector. Your cargo compartments, your 80 gallon fuel tank. Hydraulic leveling jacks right there in good condition your beefy aluminum alloy rims 22.5 inch aluminum alloy rims with Michelin tires take a close look at the tread the tread is in excellent condition I mean the sidewalls they haven't been curbed off and there's lots of meaty tire tread here No leaks from the the differential. Take a look up at the chassis as we move forward. Your triple step, automatic triple step, front leveling jacks, front tire and rim. Excellent condition. Sidewalls. Excellent tread condition. Your radiator and everything are in good condition. It's not much chips on the front of it, if any. Again, your tire and wheel in good condition. No leaks, no fluids leaking on the ground. five-speed Ford uh, torque shift transmission automatic your main slide out your generator your waste tank exhaust system rear tires nice beefy tire tread again your side walls and aluminum alloy wheels 
leveling jacks, 50 amp power cord, and it has an automatic power transfer switch, which I have in here. So this big box in here means you don't have to plug anything in. You just put the power cord away and you're good to go. And you also have your power converter right here, which provides 12 volt battery charging. It's basically an onboard battery charger. That's all fully operational. My name is Mike Johnson. Give me a call. 951-681-2101.